We got our universal gums today. It's February. It's February. Yeah. So, last time you saw me, I didn't have my glasses. And these glasses are French. You know what else is French? All the food in that box. You don't know that. We haven't opened it. Yeah. I don't even know. What kind of unboxing is this if you're going to say that it's French? Womp, oh womp, man, womp. look at that. Huh. This month's box is from France. Huh. Tegan, what do you know about France? We have a French flag sticker. I'll tell you that. <gasps> a French bridge sticker. <clears throat> we have a, a French ram sticker. And a French nose picking sticker. I don't know what. I, I think that is for our top pick. Top pick? No, it's too picky. Like, too picky. Like, try everything or else we're just. Oh, well. I don't think we're going to have a problem with our. Um, we have had our problem group. with that. All right. So let's jump right in. This is a big pamphlet this month, a uh, big book. So let's see. Grab a pen. We got the pen. We got the score sheet. Are you doing the score sheet? No. Tegan, we can't read your writing. Give it over here. I can try to make it legible. Okay. Yes, okay. Mom. No, it's fine. That's fine. No. Mom's handling the goods. So that's how we're doing this. All right. Bonjour from France. Ah, France. The land of dreamy Parisian cafes, vast provincial, 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 no, there's no I, provincial, lavender fields, and of course, I sound like an idiot when I get to these words, I'm sorry, um, vast provincial lavender fields, and of course, some of the best cuisine in the world. There's a lot of history and culture to dig into here, from iconic fashion trends to Monet's world-famous Paintings that led the art world into a new era. Uh, with so much to explore, we're certain that France will leave a good impression. Get it? Impression? Monet's impressionist painting style? We'll see ourselves out. I laughed because I read Monet, and I was thinking I could have really sounded like an idiot and said Monets. But anyway, um, so what's on the cover? Here's the cover. Uh, fun fact, fun fact. Oh, no. King Louis the Fourteenth popularized high heels. Yes, because he was short, right? No, they were originally for male royalty. Do you know who really, who really created the high heel? Do you remember this? No, butchers, because the heels. Elevated them up above the blood that was on the floor from where they were cutting meat. Hmm. Yeah. I don't remember where that was though. The more you know. All right, now back to what's on the cover. France. What's on the cover? I got it. Monet. Today's today France is known as one of the fashion capitals of the world, but before the 1860s, there was no fashion industry to speak of. That is, until English fashion designer and Paris local Charles Frederick Worth came up with a brilliant idea. Instead of displaying his whimsical Holt culture, uh, oh, oh. Haute couture. Thank you, Mr. French. Yes. On mannequins, he would use live models in the world's very first fashion show, though back then they called it a fashion parade. A far cry from the star-studded events of modern day, these events were private affairs with photography strictly banned, which means we can only imagine what historic events might have looked like, but when, but we think this cover is a pretty good guess. Uh, meet the perfectly balanced Alpine Ibex. Make your way to the French Alps and you may think that you're seeing things, but you're not going crazy. That goat, or rather Alpine Ibex, really is climbing up that 90 degree incline while the imposing horns of the males they make uh, make them seem dangerous these herbivores are pri primarily graze on grass and are con not considered aggressive 
unless another IBEX during mating season. Interesting. Unless, unless you are. So, with that said, we have our pin, we have our scorecard, and we have goodies. No, no. So, I will pass the box <gasps> off camera to Mom. Woohoo, Mom. Yes. Stop. Do we already have those? No. Yes, in the Christmas. Yeah. Different ones. No, we didn't. They were different ones. Oh, they're ones. different ones. Yeah. They were different mm. ones. Yay! Okay. So, do we, you want me to just, I'm going to rattle off what they are real quick? No, just start with the first. Start with the first. Yeah, what do you got? Pure Butter Sables. Freeze! Before you try this famous French shortbread, you should know the main ingredient is sand. What? We know, let us explain. Sables are century-old cookies made by rubbing cold butter into flour and sugar to form tiny particles of dough. Given the dough's striking resemblance to sand, these golden bread crumbs came to be called sable, the French word for... Sand. Thank you. <laughs> Tegan took French. Three years? Two years. Three years. I'm on my second. Yeah, second. Okay. You're looking at me like I was crazy, man. You were saying um, I was taking it for three. Well, I couldn't remember if you started uh, in sixth grade or not. Oh, Seventh grade. Nah. Good. We can pass it down. Okay. So, yes, these delectable cookies are made with sand. So safe. But not the beach, but not the beaches of the French Riviera kind of sand. The very buttery and very edible kind. Now, if you're wondering if it's time to try them for yourself, the answer is yes. So, um, smell them. They smell like those little cookies in the blue tens that are shaped. <laughs> yes, they do. So they the tagline them. is uh, "Pure Butter Sables, the butter biscuits that have made." The French Swoon since uh, 1888. And they are made by... Stop. Stop. I don't know who they're made by. We'll come back to it, though. I'll put it on, I'll put it on the video. It'll be down at the bottom. Okay. Uh, All right. Three. Everybody ready? Yeah. Why do you start at three? Two. One. One. <laughs> Who mm, shoved the whole thing in his mouth? Yes. Now, what does Dad know about me and these cookies? Oh, you love these. These are probably one of my top favorite cookies. Yeah. I love butter cookies. What about the almond and lemon cream cookies that we had last time from Poland? Well, why are you bringing up old stuff? Hey, this we just is, historically, up mom loves a butter cookie. Mm -hmm. She's not saying compared to the other stuff that we have. Just historically, mom loves butter cookies. Mm -hmm. Can I like have them that one? Nope. <laughs> I think they're good. They are good. We can each have another half. But I don't think they're extraordinary. I also agree with that. Oh. I like simple. I just think they're a good cookie. I mean, give me a big one. There's nothing offensive by it. I mean, it's got a good flavor. It's just not real flavorful. Tegan, just put um down. It's yeah. buttery. Mm, yeah. Vanilla. Give me a big smiley on that one. I'll put a smile. Mm hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, and I think they're I good. Would, I would like to go ahead and read the ingredients. Yeah. Flour, butter, sugar, egg, salt, and vanilla. What about sand? Yeah, I mean, how simple. Mm. That's really simple. Um, and they're good. And the more I eat, the more I chew, the more flavor it has. Well, I see something that only I'm going to like. I, I, it looks like I'm going to like it. Maybe. The mm -hmm. black olive blue cheese chews? No, this. What? What is All right, it? Oh. next. Okay, well, that's okay. next. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, yep. Okay, so Cora. Everybody's smiling. Everybody just normal smile. Yes. Yes. Give me a big grin. Uh, I guess. Did you have a smile? Yes. I had a smile. Mom had a smile. 
Will I see you smile? John, wait. Sure. Let her read one. Let T read one. Read that? Yeah. Let mom read one. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll let you. Goat cheese and es espalette chili potato chips. Cheesy chips with a hint of heat. Would you believe us if we said these chips double as Christmas decorations? Long before the Princetia, sorry, Princetia, um, became. Synonymous. Synonymous with holiday spirit. French homes would be decorated with bright green, red, and yellow peppers. While the edible decorations went out of style in the 1900, folks in France, Basque region, still go out of their way to celebrate the Esplet. 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 Um. <laughs> Pepper by way of food festival, and yes, decorations. But let's not forget our favorite way to celebrate this super smoky pepper and this delightfully savory potato chip. Okay. The ingredients are potatoes, sunflower oil, seasoning, um, whey milk fat, goat cheese powder, goat milk, um, salt, cheese cultures. Rennet, dystodium, expert chili powder. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and all you that good stuff. You don't have to. Mom was reading the one because <laughs> it was very limited. Is it pungent? Super pungent? God. I'm excited to try this. Let's get it this way here. I, I know I've had goat cheese like one or once or twice before. Okay. You could probably just put um, one chip on mine. <laughs> yep, and I will. Here, baby. I'm scared now. Smell it. Okay. I just smell it. <laughs> 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 Their reaction. That's nasty. So let's just say dad does not like goat cheese. At so all. <laughs> Sarah and I used to work at a restaurant in Florida that um, one of our dishes was a uh, it was a chicken dish and it had a uh, mm -hmm. goat cheese and sun dried tomato uh, topping on it. And everybody raved about it. Everybody that liked goat cheese. And I got it one night and it was it was awful. I mean, it was probably good if you like goat cheese, but not it was delicious. Yeah. So okay. I, I'm just gonna throw this whole thing in my mouth. You ready? And then get over with it. Which way are we going? Three. Actually, we're going two. Nope. Eleven. Stop. Stop. Ten. Uh, no, Why don't you not. count us down from three? Trois. Deux. Un. Ooh. It tastes pretty much how it smells. Yep. Mm. Like dirty feet. Do you like it? One other. You know what? I even <clears throat> have to say that I'm not a fan. Oh god, give me yours. It's Do you really like it? Or are you just being no, weird? No, I like god, it. even after water. <laughs> Need like milk or something? Pepsi? Oh, they get a little better. Muriatic acid, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Mm, that's rough. That's that's rough. Thank you. Steven, you want some more bed? Sure. You are not my children. Okay. For mom's children. <laughs> As well. I figured that my intolerance of that was stronger than her tolerance of it, so I guess I'm wrong. Stop. Stop. That first one was a hard hit. I think it was because it was after the cookie. But now I don't mind it. 
Well, I got one that was very strong, and I was like, this one had a lot of seasoning on it. I'm going to try another one. And I had one that had a little bit less seasoning on it, and I like that better because it was less strong. Do you want them with less? They are very uh, good, flavorful. Yeah. Okay, Dad? We're going to, uh, we're not going to do a frowny face. We're going to a pukey face. No, I'm joking. Let's do a, <laughs> I'll, I'll do a frowny face. Is that the second one? You were getting ready to mark it in the third one. Oh, okay. Uh, I can do a pukey face if you No, want. just do a frowny face. Okay. Okay, now draw a little tongue sticking out. That's a beautiful <laughs> tongue, Tegan. My tongue is not square. <laughs> Your tongue is also not one half of a millimeter. Millimeter? In width. A millimeter? I'm pretty sure it's millimeter last time. Oh, you stop, sis. I was giving him crap about it. You don't have to. All right, there's my, there's my Mr. Yuck face now. All right, who what was mom? Mom was a smiley face after she got used to the flavor, right? Mm-hmm. I like it. Cora is just being difficult. <laughs> Tegan? I'm right. A little bit of a smirk. Okay, so let's oh, go. This... Not your fave, bud. Like that. Not my fave. I, I like it a bit. We still have other stuff to go through, honey. You don't have to eat all in one thing, okay? Oh, right. it's all gone. Like, okay. mo most of these things, it's oh, like, yeah. I, I can connect it with the flavor that I've had. Mm. This just seems like its own thing. Did you hold that up? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, I'm so the sorry. You have to go in correct yeah. order here. I save. Thanks. Ooh, we haven't done that before. All right. Here we have. Whew. I still think. I think. Like I think I cut it off in the other videos, actually. Mm. But. Maybe at one point that, you know. Anyway. All right. Up next, Tegan. Okay, so we have strawberry bonbons. Yay! So strawberry, they're short, they're what? Sweet, chewy, with a touch of tartness. Love strawberries. You have France to thank. French royals were the first to farm fruit back in the fourth... The fruit, not just generally fruit. Back in the 14th century with King Charles V boasting 1,200 strawberry plants in his garden. I feel like that was a lot. <laughs> then, in the late 18th century, it was also friends that, thank you, that crossbred two New World strains, the Virginia strawberry and the Chilean white strawberry, to create the modern strawberry the whole world knows and loves today. But don't say merci just yet. We've got one more French strawberry in innovation to be thankful for. This yum. This sweet, chewy, and positively delightful strawberry is truly the pinnacle of <clears throat> progress. Well, they look like little marshmallows. Yeah, they remind me of the bonbons that we had in the first. Yeah, the mocktails. The mocktails, yes. Mm -hmm. Speaking of but, bonbons, bonbon is actually directly French for candy. Wouldn't huh. it be candy candy? Candy candy. Bon bon? No, bon bon means candy? Yeah. Not bon. Bon itself means good. Mm. So good good, but not candy. Or is it good good equals candy? I guess. Mm. Or just good candy. Good and bon bon together means bon candy. bon bon? That would be good bon, good. Bon, bon. You know what? Bon, 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 bon. We can figure it out another time. <laughs> We're here at the Three, test taste, not the two, basal language. One. Ooh, way harder than I am. Oh, started. yeah. Ooh. It looks like a marshmallow. It's harder than a marshmallow. Yeah. A very stale marshmallow. Go back. The marshmallows don't get through this. What's the gummit you got? The what? In the, the gummit and the car. Mentos? Is that what it is? Okay, so it's like a Mentos. That's cold. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind those. Flavor okay. is good. I'm gonna mm -hmm. say this. Yeah, I thought I was gonna say that it was. Figure it was not good. But. My top. So my top left molar hurts, but it's good. <laughs> Actually, it ends up being kind of taffy-like. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Definitely. I'm gonna say my last and one. And then the taste one. reminds me of strawberry taffy. Mm -hmm. They're good. Gross. There's more. There you go. Quit. I give that a smiley face. Yeah, me too. Everybody big smiley face. Give me like the biggest. But I want you to make it look like I'm ex exhausted and smiling from where I <laughs> took so long to chew it. Like this? It does. It I mean, it sticks with you. Man, it does. I don't think it's still stuck in it's my It's so juice. weird because it's like toffee, but toffee seems to soften up more. Taffy? Taffy. Did I say toffee? I'm I said dead. toffee. Because those toffee cookies at work are really good. Anyway, like taffy, but it just doesn't seem to soften up as quickly as taffy does. Yeah. Taffy gets in your mouth, it gets warm, kind and of it softens. Yeah. This, this hangs on for a minute. It's almost like a chewable sucker is what it's really close to being. You're right. It takes a, a long time to get that worked through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It's great. The great strawberry flavor. Yeah, it did have really good flavor for being strawberry. For being strawberry? Strawberry is one of the best flavors ever. Not imitation strawberry. You know this. All right. I'm sorry, Tegan. I'm so sorry. Way to keep me in line, bub. Sorry. Try to keep them from spilling and Cora from stealing them. I know, right? All right. Next. Next. Is the raspberry roll cake? <gasps> it's a cake roll with raspberry filling. Stop! Wait a minute. <laughs> Before you bite into this cake, smell it. Just like juicy raspberries, right? Can you smell it, few words? While you might consider anything resembling cake, the cake, uh, resembling cake firmly in the dessert category, this particular confection is a little bit different oh once you gosh. get to France. Uh, a fluffy raspberry roll cake like this is typically eaten not as a de as a dessert, but for breakfast. And to that we say, stop! And think about saving this cake for tomorrow morning instead. Or just ignore tradition and eat it now, because really, how could anyone resist? Pass it along. The hot potato. Oh, that was it. the biggest piece, bud. Oh my gosh, it does smell just like raspberry. It does. That's crazy. It looks oh. like a cinnamon roll. Raspberry roll cake. Oh. <laughs> the kind of thing you find in a French store. store. A, in a French, French bonbon store. Raspberry roll okay. cake. Okay. I think I like okay, no. Stop. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. It's Good. really soft. It is soft. Very, very soft. Wow. That's like extreme. They describe it as fluffy. Would mm. you say it's fluffy? No. I'd okay. say it's fluffy. The the yeah. the, the uh But the, extremely moist. It is moist. Moist. It's more moist if you dip it in there. It's gross. Why would you do that? I'm not saying you would. I'm you just saying just, it'd be more moist. I would I mean, in my personal opinion, if you just Lay a layer of whipped cream over the top of it. Can you get oh, it to yeah. yeah. There's no more. Is there? There are some opinions no, that, that are was object. very tiny. There are some opinions that are Stop. objective. Then there are some opinions that are just facts. No. And that That's was a fact. fact. Until it is. Oh, Alright, mini roll. Raspberry. Roll cake. Okay, Dad. Smiley face. Smile! Two eyes and a smile. Now I read next. Cora, smiley face. What are you? What are you? Most definitely. Get over there on your side. Don't look. <laughs> what are you thinking? I wasn't thinking anything. Mm. Woohoo, smile. Damn. Everybody smile? Ooh. Everybody smile? Yes. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, chocolate chip cookie oh, truffle. I guess Cora's reading this one. Yes. Chocolate chip <laughs> cookie truffles. Decadent. <laughs> okay. What does that say? 
You got it. Decadent. Decadent dark, dark chocolate, chocolate with cookie. with raspberry with cookie pieces. What's the hot? When? Wait, oh my God. <laughs> Marie. Come. <laughs> when Marie. Antoinette. Antoinette <laughs> married Louis the Fourteenth. Oh. In 1770. You know who Louis the Fourteenth was? She moved he was the her son of Louis the Thirteenth. From Vienna ah, to the palace. No, we're not passing around. Okay. Of Versailles, ah, see, including her personal Louis chocolate maker, Louis. who was given to the new title, chocolate maker to the queen. Knowing this, it might not be surprising that Mar Marie was famous for having sweets first in thing in the morning, with breakfast featuring cups of rich hot chocolate and tons of cookies. We're not saying you should eat these melt in your mouth truffles for breakfast, but we're also not not saying that. It sounds like the French like diabetes in the morning. Let me see this. Um, did you happen to catch your sister reading that word right there properly? Versailles. Did you catch it? I did not. Well, I had to practice reading that. I mean, spelling that V E R S. Oh yeah, that's right. It was on your practice sheet. Okay, so. I got you. Um, okay, so oh. chocolate chip cookie truffles. Oh, do, toi. It's bitter again. Yay! Mm -hmm. It's dark chocolate. That's again. a good bitter. Mm -hmm. That is way better than the raspberry one. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding, it is. The raspberry one comes in second. So that is so good. That is delicious. Is that more? More. Mm -hmm. More. No. There's no way it is. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to bring up old stuff right now. Mm. Out of all three of our mm. universal mm. yums. Mm. That has been the best chocolate thing. Yes. From any of the others. I can agree with that. Ooh, I feel like I can agree with that too. That was mm -hmm. very delicious. Oh, chocolate. so delicious. I feel considering that, that makes that word true. Oh, that one's crispy. The decadent. Decadent. What does decadent, decadent actually mean? Decadent, well, decadent. that's a great question. Richly delicious. Uh -huh. mm. Like, that is a very good kind of there. Because mm. I usually don't like bitter mash. Mm. Mm. Oh, wait. That was fantastic. Mom behind the camera is doing a very, very happy dance. Happy dance. Can't blame her. I'm just letting this one melt in my mouth. All right. Um, did you mark us all down? Um, all big gigantic smiles. I mean, like... The biggest O face, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, those things are so cute. Oh my goodness. I am totally stoked about this one, Coralou. Popcorn. <gasps> this is a Truffies too. Yeah. Nice. It is a popcorn flavored truffle. Yep. Whoa. Look at that. Uh, well, individuals. I'll go ahead and read Truffies. about that one. So now we're into the yum bag, right? I'm so the, sorry. The two candies. I am. I am all the yum bag. Yum, yum. Okay. So the one that she just held up, popcorn truffles. Uh, decadent French chocolate with bits of toasty popcorn. According to legend, this yum came about by accident. In 1920s Paris, confectioner Auguste Escoffier was making a pastry cream when he accidentally poured hot cream into the wrong bowl. A bowl filled with chocolate. Rather than bidding the melty chocolate adieu, he experimented. He rolled the paste, the ganache, into balls and coated them in cocoa powder. The result? A luxurious chocolate ball that looks a whole lot like France's mushroom truffles. Hence the name we can't think of a more decadent accident. Is there only one bag? Oh. Wait, but I thought he said popcorn. It is. Yeah. There's popcorn what? in there. No. Well, popcorn it's popcorn truffle. flavored. Three, two, one. Blast off. Mm. 
Here, I'll get the popcorn. Me too. Did you get it? A hint. Yeah. I got a big thing of it. That's beautiful. A big thing of popcorn? Yeah, well, I got a big taste of it. Yeah. Like the popcorn, oh, there it comes. The popcorn flavor just went... Yeah. Oh, really? A yeah. little bit on Right mine. at the end, it just went wham. Big popcorn flavor. Man, that was... Interesting. That Chocolate was awesome. covered popcorn's good. Oh my gosh. All right. So good. Mom is uh, cutting. That was better than I Okay. Expected. I uh, think smiley face for me. Oh, yeah. I am totally stoked about this one. Uh, and the one she's talking about is. Fleur. <clears throat> Sorry. Fleur de sel caramel. France's famous. Flor de sel meets buttery sweetness. Little hard caramels. Or is that Flor de sel? Mm. Never mind. Flor de sel? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Probably Flor de sel. Flor de sel. <clears throat> Flor de sel. All right. Uh, Salted caramel is uh, so popular, you might think it's been around forever. But in reality, humans figured out space travel before they figured out how how out this... Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, figured out... Space travel before they figured out this now iconic flavor. I'm leaving all that in. I'm not editing it. It's going to stay. It was only in 1977 that confectioner Henry LeRoux <laughs> debuted the first salted caramel. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did you just see yours? No. She just say, and so did you. <laughs> You're gonna wait. <laughs> That's so good. Did you reform yours? It's like a perfect cube or something. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, since the rude ones already went, um, <laughs> Henry LaRue debuted his first salted caramel made with Britney's famous sea salted butter. By 1980, it was voted the country's best candy, and by 2008, it had, go it had gone global with Haagen Dazs and Starbucks debuting salted caramel products. Uh, with this yum, you'll understand why this French flavor has stuck around quite literally. Sea salt and caramel is that new? Mm-hmm. Huh. Or salted caramel? Well, they're not. But caramel is not. Caramel's been around for Oh, for eons. sure. Yeah. Oh, so someone just was like, salt. Yeah, I guess. That's what it sounds like. Am I okay. Ready? All right, Sun. hey Teague. Cat. Oh, Cat I suggest uh, sucking on it. Three, two. Oh, I thought you already. You did eat part of it. <laughs> no, <laughs> since you already went, you can let Teague count it down. Cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un. I don't know French. I just put it in when you stop counting. Hmm. That's good. That's really good. Again, sticky chewy. That's why I'm not even trying to chew it. I tried, and then I stopped trying. Mm. Hmm. I never knew that the Tour de France was 21 days long. Hmm. Are you cheating and reading answers? Oh, that is the... All right. Yeah! <laughs> well, I didn't get started, really. I was trying to figure out if it was. Ooh, trip your tank. Yeah. No, there's the answers. What is this? Mm. Where'd it go? There it is. Excellent etiquette 